Okay, I got the sub panel off here. It's got a little bit of noise in it. I'll put my hand up here. Now this is live. Now this one lug here got eaten out years ago because of salt corrosion and we had a dehumidifier on so it's been abandoned that's why there's a plug here if i take the thermal camera here and look one of them's hotter than normal than the other now it might be just the uh, the thermal camera will accentuate a lot of things, so it may not be uh, too hot, but it's just kind of a useful tool. Breakers do get hot sometimes. A little bit of loss, but it can be just you've got some I squared R loss. And on this particular one in the deep south where I've got to go through and uh, pull them back off, turn the circuit off, and then click it back and forth to get the bus bar clean. What I do on this is I turn off the sub panel, the input, which is A, B from the house power box. And then I go through and uh, insert and reinsert and sometimes polish that. This is an older box. What can happen is you get some salt corrosion because I'm here by the ocean. And uh, once it starts to go ahead and get a little bit of uh, resistive loss, then it tends to heat the breaker up and then it degrades the breaker. It's not to where you have a fire or anything. I've never seen that. What happens is the breaker generally fails gracefully and it tends to trip early. But on this particular one, it's right there. That lug is hot. About 86, a little 87. I've gone through and turned off the breaker, double breaker, and then pulled it out. So that's the one that's hot. Hotter than normal. Now the thermal camera tends to kind of make everything look hot. I mean slightly, you have to be using everything with a grain of salt. It may or may not be a problem. But on here, I'm going to look at that, see if it's got some, um, these be kind of sanded in there and down in there. Probably this weekend I'll go through and turn this turn the sub panel off. Make sure I got all the computers and everything off. Go in there and sand that. You can't just click it back and forth. It can also be just that one of these uh, is just a little bit loose and needs to be tightened up over here. The wires on there. Now with this off. I gotta get to work, but what I'm doing here is I'm just moving this back and forth on the lug. That lug is hot down in there. So get a little bit better connection. That's the particular one. It's got a little bit more draw on it. That goes to a little window air conditioner it's running. But what can happen on a breaker? You can have a little load, maybe just a few amps going through for some lights or something. It's not a problem. Then you hook like in the deep south here, a dehumidifier on, big joker and draw, you know, 10, 12 amps or something like that. And all of a sudden it'll make a bunch of noise. So just listening is not a bad clue or just putting your hand on this. I mean, a thermal camera is a nice tool, but just you can sometimes feel that one's hotter. This white here is the neutral. Back in there is the ground. This is a sub panel, so the the 
neutral is isolated from the ground, even though it's real close, but that, uh, that's what you do. So this white wire goes back and the ground connect together back where the meter is. But again, the thermal camera is a cool tool to kind of isolate what's going on. Now that wire there being hot like that, that's just got a little, little bit more current than the rest because it's got uh, some stuff going through it. And that can just be the way it is when everything is connected together because that's one of the larger loads that's going right now. I mean, to be that far way up in here to be warmer, that's just uh, what normally happens. I mean, even if you got a brand new Baker box, just having a little bit more load, it'll heat up just a little bit more than uh, the rest. So, now what happened years ago on this is the breaker that was here um, was on one of the bathrooms and it was only used for some lights maybe you run the heater every blue moon in the winter coming out of a tub or shower and then we put a dehumidifier in the bathroom uh, this is like 15 years ago 20 years ago and because it was running all the time it was a big 50 pint per day model it went through and you'd come in the garage at night and you'd hear the sizzling and what it did is it ate the whole lug off down in there. There's one of the lugs that's where the X is right there. And it's right, it's hard to see, I need a flashlight. One of the lugs is down in there. There's one of the lugs that's where the X is right there. And it's right, it's hard to see, I need a flashlight. One of the lugs is basically screwed up to where it can't be used anymore and that's where that X is. Basically screwed up to where it can't be used anymore and that's where that X is. It's right here back in there. So that is one that you can't use anymore and that's what can happen to where you get a breaker and it runs so long and then um, in the deep south here you get a lot of humidity and then it goes through and you get a little R squared R loss and it tends to eat up. Um, that's a sub panel, 125 amps. 